That one rider. That's one rider. Um, He's been a Rob player for okay. as long as I've known him. I, I, thought, I thought he may have switched characters in this game as well, because uh, did that one rider also play Cloud? But Charger played Cloud. Charger played yeah, Charger Cloud. played Cloud. As far as I know, Eon, or sorry, that one rider was always Always the Rob, Rob. yeah. Yeah, very solid one Oh my that. god. What the? Okay, I like the up air right there to cover himself getting back to the ledge. The air dodge, directional air dodge. Not sure if that was like an attempt to tech or just a uh, a miss buffered um, air dodge. And it's going to cost him the first stock. Eon sitting pretty at 20%. I mean, when you get a stock lead like this, whew, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you could play aggressive. Sure, why not? But, man. But you don't have to, right? Yeah. Like, Especially with Pichu, he already has amazing oh. frame data, and he can just sit back and camp. But now he's not going to be able to, as uh, that one rider just eliminates that up the first smash, uh, first stock with the up smash. Pichu's also an incredibly light character, so he's not going to be yeah. able to. If he, if he's going to be stuff, aggressive, so. he's actually pressing more buttons, and if he's pressing more buttons, and especially those buttons that use uh, electrical properties, he's dealing damage to himself. All right, but he is able to follow these air, you know, these T jolts in looking kind of like Akuma in this game, where, you know, he's very high damage output, very, you know, glass cannon can die early, has these air fireball leads. Like, it's very uh, entertaining to watch. All right. Dead even percentages on this uh, second stock. That one rider landing with the neutral air. He's got the gyro by right there. Uh, really good insurance for him right there. Oh. Great get up attack right there. Did not go for the tech roll in. That's what Eon was looking for. Nice, and the up throw off the platform is gonna get that second stock off of Eon. Oh, but oh, oh he it. beautiful, beautiful. That was the only way that he was gonna uh, survive on that stock. That. It's hard. I mean, it drags you down so fast. Yeah, it's, I feel like that's something that we, we rarely see. Dash I, attack. Now, how is Eon going to get this kill? Are forward we going to see the forward tilt? <laughs> <on the left? laughs> like we're going to see forward tilt, though. Yeah. All right, back air is not going to be enough to do uh, that one rider in at 152 from across the stage. But there's that forward tilt we were talking about. And only 23% uh, percent to make up for here. Here comes the up air. Forward air not registering. Here's a grab. This should be big damage. All right, down. Up air into the back air. Looks for the drag down loop, but does not get it. Up to into the up air. That one rider holding on to a bit of a percent lead right now. Yeah, as you said, he was uh, looking for the loop. He's going to be able to get a l big damage with the uh, lightning loops, but it looked like Eon actually just fast fell uh, too early into the back air. So it is a pretty tight uh, timing for that move um, for the lightning loops to actually connect, and then you also have to be uh, accounting for DI at the same time. All right. Last life here, percentage in that one rider's favor. Here's a grab from Eon, down throw, up air. All right, back air. Thunder Jolt, and he hits him with the neutral air. I down tilt, this is actually looking really good for that one rider. He has Eon at the ledge, and as I say that, he does regain stage control. Great Tech picks up the gyro as well. Up here, gonna call out the jump, and that's gonna be game one going to that one rider. That one rider, man. And a quick reminder, this is still winner's quarter, so this is a best of three. We are on our potential last game for this set. That one rider on the verge of a possible upset here against Eon. And uh, Eon switching over to the Fox. Not going to take any chances. He's yeah. going to go with the character that he knows the best from years of experience. And also, I feel like the combo game with Fox is just like so much better. On top of the fact that Fox has that um, down B, the reflector. So he's going to be able to send back a lot of... Uh, He's going to be able to just shut down a lot of Rob's game plan, which is to throw projectiles and shoot the laser. But on the other hand, it's going to be a much scarier matchup off stage. Rob has that very large down air. Yeah. If he can force Fox to recover with the Firefox, it's basically a free stock if he can time it correctly. I, on the other hand, though, Fox, known for getting these platform combos with the up air PS2, is a very good stage for him. Dead even percentage right here. All right, Eon playing it safe. Jumping around that gyro, getting that dash attack in and a little bit more of a 
of a follow-up as well. 104%, there's the dash attack again. Tries to read the jump out, doesn't get the up air. Ooh, parry into the up tilt. Eon keeping up the chase on this platform right here. So much pressure with a back air and up air. And uh, that one, Ryan just doing a good job of also spacing his neutral airs. Right. Eon looking for the up airs, but he's got to respect these landing neutral airs from that one, Ryder. He's doing a great job just landing with them in the firebox oh, on stage. Oh. Not going to kill off the top. Yeah, great DI towards the quarter from the, uh, that one, Ryder. If he had done any DI besides that, he would have died off the top for sure. 166, though. He's making really good use of this stock. He's got the gyro in hand. Oh, my God. That was such expert aim from that one rider, though, and a really good reaction from Eon as well. Yeah, if that didn't come out, that was definitely going to be the first stock gone. But as I say, that the first stock goes in favor of that one rider drawing first blood here in this game number two with that neutral air. Yeah, and well, I mean, Rob might be heavy, but he's not heavy enough to survive that up air from Eon, keeping it down to two stocks apiece now. Eon finding a down tilt, trying to read these defensive options. All right, down tilt's coming out from that one rider. All right, the gyro is in his hand. All right, there's the nair confirmed. Nair into the dash track into two up airs. Goes for the third. Not gonna find, but he does get rid of the jump off of that one rider. Rider trying to land with the neutral, but Eon is all over him. Oh, so much percentage already on this second stock. It's looking firmly in Eon's favor right now. And I really like the, the way he's playing it. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much trademark for Eon. He just constantly plays at a uh, spacing where he, he knows like his, uh, a lot of his opponent's hitboxes aren't going to register. Uh, he, he's more of a patient player. He waits more yeah. for the options to come out before he runs in. Yeah, Eon definitely known uh, for being that very safe uh, look for his one opening player, but you know he's not one to overcommit. And right now, it's that's really what Ryder needs. Yeah, he's doing a really good job though. He's yet to take any percent on this last stock. All right, here comes Eon though. All right, Jab's gonna just put Eon, uh, that one Ryder rather back on the ledge. I like the forward air. Gonna call him out the spot dodge. Gets another one for his trouble. Oh, okay, and the gyro snipe. Uh, I, I'm sure he was trying to Z-drop the uh, the gyro. Not sure what follow-up would have came of it, but it definitely would have at least uh, thwarted Eon's plans. Eon's still sitting on this second stock at 144%. That's so much mileage for a Fox player, uh, considering how light the character is. Yeah, this is starting to look really bad for Ryder. He needs to call out a jump with an up air and look for, you know, he has to get a grab, do something. But right now, he's just kind of scared of everything Eon's been throwing at him. He's been stuck in the shield. 176%, man. This is, ooh, OK. All right, good. I was, right. I was starting to get scared, man. It's just not, you don't want to see Fox living that long. All right, Ryder does have Eon on his last stock. Fox is, a, is somewhat of a glass cannon, especially against characters that can edgeguard him well, like Rob. It all comes down to can Ryder find his opening, or will this be the end for him? Not gonna get caught with that up smash. Great tech keeps him alive, but okay, all right. All so right. that that looked like it was tr almost true. I'm not sure, yeah. but it, he got the uh, it started. It, it, he got the dash attack, the up air, but before that he hit he got um, near dash attack, up near air. dash attack, up air. I, I almost forgot what that string started with, just because that near and like the dash attack looked the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> just one's in the air and one's yeah, just one's one's an aerial on dash attack and the other one's an air, a, a, a grounded a grounded nair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a uh, I was surprised to see the nair dash attack. I was expecting the the nair into yeah, up smash. Yeah, no, I definitely thought that was a misinput. But yeah. I mean, it's okay. He was able to finish it out. He either knew that was going to confirm or he just was really quick on the pickup. Either way, closing out the stocks and moving on to our final game here for winner's quarters, Eon versus the one Ryder. Yeah, and Eon opening up real strong right now, 60%, but Ryder answering back just a little bit. Gets the down throw, covers the air dodge out of the mash with the get up air. He now has a bit of a percent lead. Yeah, relatively even. All right, um, Fox definitely has to play I mean, he doesn't have to play a little bit safe, but he's definitely 
on the uh, receiving end of most of the damage right now. Up air coming out. Eon ha hanging below the platform. Oh. Ooh. Up smash, not gonna do it. Rob is a very heavy character. Falls out of hit oh. one of up air. All right, that one rider back at the ledge though. Eon pressuring with these back airs. Not gonna be uh, fruitful, especially if they register on a shield. Okay, that one rider playing with a ton of momentum right now. Oh. Right, and he gets the tech chase with that bow, or with the up smash rather. That was beautiful. I love the way Eon actually just dashed back and forth, and uh, he knew he had tons of time to react. So, All right, Nair doesn't follow up. He knows that it's negative on hit, but that one rider goes for the spot touch. No punish on it. I love the use of the forward air jumping over the driver with an active hitbox. Ooh, okay. All right, Ryder has to find a way off of this ledge right now. Eon just doing a great job of keeping the pressure on, reads the roll away with the dash deck, tries to get follow-up, but doesn't find anything. Ryder setting up with the gyro in center stage once again. There's a dash attack, gyro for a little bit of insurance. A contingency plan, if you will, for Rob. 155 on Eon's first stock still. Trying to get the grab, facing the wrong direction though. And they're playing ex incredibly safe. I mean, Eon may be a full stock up, but he's, as we mentioned before, not the kind of player to overcommit, and he's showing a lot of respect to the options that Eon that one rider is putting out. Definitely plays like oh. his last stock every stock. Yep, yep. And that's a great way to play. I mean, that's just why he's such a good player in this game. Great get up attack right there from that one rider, he doesn't oh, remember. No. That's new to this game that uh, Fox cannot go through you with the illusion if he hits uh, your shield. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that he remembered, but it, it's just like it's four years memory. of muscle memory, muscle exactly. Memory. You see that hit your shield, you run backwards. All right, finally the neutral air catching uh, Eon. He's going to lose that stock, but I mean, he, he was at near 200%, so I mean... If Neutral Air didn't take the stock there, I, I don't know what you were going to do. You're having a, a bad time. 122 on that one Riders. Stock number two. All right. Parry, these have been great parries yeah. here for Eon. You know, he's starting to get used to that one Riders' habits of landing with the Neutral Airs. Yeah. And, and that's a really good recognition from Eon as well. Uh, consistently going for that punish, especially when he's below Rob. But... One, one thing, I, th I believe that neutral air can be actually just straight up safe even on parry if you space it properly and you drift back with it and uh, on cross up as well. It, it is tough though, I mean, you don't always have perfect spacing. All right, they have a projectile trade there even though they were both robs. And he gets stage flake by the gyro. Gonna get up with the forward air. Great choice, gonna alleviate some pressure. Oh no, that's a very bad spot for that one rider, but he is able to use his burner to recover. All right, punishing that getup attack. Eon just gonna grab him out of it, throw him up. All right, rider trying to find an opening right now, but Eon not giving him anything, just holding shield at the ledge, playing very, very safe. Ooh, okay. Great DI from Eon, still not gonna drop his stock quite yet. Said so be into the center of the stage, but that one rider is ready for it. Gets the up throw, Eon, down to his last stop. Yeah, luckily for him, he was actually facing the other way this time, so turning around was actually the right call. Got the grab and the stock. Down to our final stocks of winter quarters. And uh, Eon still firmly in the lead, but what if so much damage from these down tilts alone, that one rider just closing the gap little by little. Now, honestly, this is kind of <gasps> scary for Eon. We aren't oh, seeing. Oh, man. We've oh, seen a no. lot of times where he can get that damage but he's not always able to find the stock, but eventually you have to just throw that out yeah. and you can find it. Absolutely.